Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Draw With Rob with me, Rob Bidolf. And that's a picture of me on the back of the Draw With Rob activity book which is out now. If you want to have a little look inside this activity book, go to the end of this video. I've done a little a little kind of preview of it there. You can have a look at the, what's going on inside that, but I think you'll like it. Now, I am a children's author and a children's illustrator. You might know me from books like this, Show and Tell, which is all about a class full of children who bring in strange and wonderful things for show and tell, like that look, the Loch Ness Monster there. Or maybe you've seen this book. Now, this book is called The Grizzly Bear Who Lost His Girl. And this is the American edition of Grr. It's just called Grr over here in the UK, but in America it's called The Grizzly Bear Who Lost His Grr. And it's all about this chap, Fred Bear, who loses his growl. That's a very fun book, even if I do say so myself. <laughs> so we're here today, aren't we, to draw a picture together? So there's my piece of paper right in the middle of the screen. Right, what are we gonna draw today? Right, that's right, I remember now. We're gonna draw a chameleon. Now, who knows what a chameleon is? That's right, it's a, it's a type of reptile, but they are famous for being able to change the color of their skin to blend in with the background. Wherever they are, they can sort of blend in with their background. So if they're in the grass, they can make themselves sort of green and grass colored, so they sort of disappear, which means predators, animals that might, other animals that might want to eat them, find it much harder to find them. So it's one of nature's miracles, the chameleon. And I thought that that would be a very good subject for a Draw With Rob video, because we can do the drawing of the outline of the chameleon together, can't we? And then you can just go crazy coloring in your chameleon any color you like. Because what if your chameleon was standing in front of a rainbow? They would have to be rainbow colored, wouldn't they? Or if they were standing in a field of poppies, you'd have to draw lots of poppies all over them. <laughs> I'm not sure they can actually do that, to be honest, but hey, it's just a drawing, isn't it? So it's just a bit of fun. So. We're going to draw a chameleon together. This is how it works, in case you haven't seen one of these videos before. I'm going to draw a little bit of the drawing on my piece of paper here. Then you can pause this video and you can copy exactly what I do. And because we're just doing it a tiny bit at a time, it's going to make doing the drawing seem much, much easier to you. And I'm going to prove to you that anybody can actually draw really well. You just need a bit of help with the order sometimes. So hopefully this video will prove that to you. So grab yourself a piece of paper. Grab yourself something to draw with. You might want something to colour with a bit later on, but don't worry if you haven't got any colour pencils, you can just colour in with your pencil or your pen that you're using to do the outline. It doesn't matter. Right, let's make a start, shall we? We are going to start sort of about halfway up our drawing, but over to the right-hand side. What I want you to do is a curve, like a J shape, like that. So a nice, easy start. I try and make the first thing that we do on every drawing nice and easy so we can just sort of ease ourselves into the picture. Okay the next thing I want you to do we're going to do a horizontal line. It's not too long probably about to there. Something like that. Then we are going to curve around and head towards the bottom of our page like that. So three marks so far, one sort of J-shaped curve, one straight line, and then another curve, a bit like a C-shaped curve. Let's carry on that curve. We're gonna carry it on around into like a sort of swirl. I love swirls, don't I? There's lots of swirls on all of my pictures. And do you know what, there's even a swirl. Look, I'm gonna show you my book again here. I've even got a swirl on my signature, on my R of Biddulf, the M1 on the P. I absolutely love swirls. <laughs> Right, where were we? Right, swirl, that's right. Okay, now what we need to do, we're gonna go from the end of our swirl, we're gonna turn around this way, and we're gonna start following our swirl back out. But we're gonna get a little bit thicker and thicker and thicker as we come back out of our swirl. Like that. Let's just go to there for now. Okay. Now we can carry this on a bit more. We're gonna go up here. We're not gonna follow it round there like that though. We are gonna go just a bit further up. Keep on going up. And then when we get to about here, then we're gonna start coming down and heading for home. But we're gonna stop there, about there. Okay, so we 
leave a nice big gap there. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is at this end here, we're going to draw, we're going to suddenly turn a sharp corner and we're going to do a little line that goes at right angles to where we were, like that. Then we're just going to come down a little bit, just do a little line like that to make a sort of triangle shape. Then what I want you to do is curve out and then curve down. And we still don't want to join up. We want to sort of come down next to that place that we started, like that. So this should all be nice and smooth. I'm just going to smooth and line out a bit with my brush pen. There we go. Every time I use this pen, I make a little smudge. I've got it on my, I don't know how I've got it there. Maybe this, maybe, oh look, do you know what? I think I've got a bit of ink. I'm going to get my bit of tissue. I'm just going to wipe the end of my pen because I think that's the problem here. I just got a little bit of ink on the nib and I keep getting it on my finger, which means I keep getting it on my drawing. It's no good, is it? Never mind. We don't screw the piece of paper up and start again. We keep on going. Right, where was I? Right, now what we're going to do is from this point, so from the point that we started this entire picture, I then want you to draw curved line coming down like that. It goes across the other line that we've drawn. And the next thing to do is a great big circle round about here. Really big. Like that. And that is going to be our chameleon's eye. So that means this is its mouth, and look, it looks very grumpy. But they do, if you look at some photos of chameleons, they always look a bit grumpy. I don't know if they are grumpy or whether that's just the way their face is made, who knows. Smooth that around there a bit. Okay, let's give our chameleon a pupil. I'm gonna do our chameleon looking back. I'm gonna be looking this way, so I'm gonna do the pupil. Maybe this side, a little eye. Like that. There we go. Eyebrow. Cute! Okay, now we need to give him or her a couple of legs. This is how we're going to do the legs. So, from just beneath the eye, what I want you to do is we're going to go up a bit, turn around, and then just come down just there and go across the tummy line there. And then at the end of that, I just want you to do three straight. Then we're going to do exactly the same behind that. We're going to do that curve thing. Come down to here, then three straight lines. So two little legs. I'm going to just change my pen for a second for this next bit. Because what we want to do on the end of those three straight lines, we're just going to draw little circles. Because they're sort of, they have these sort of suckers on their feet and their hands. I guess that helps them cling on to whatever it is they're climbing up. They sort of climb up trees and leaves and things, don't they? And they just sort of stick to them. Maybe it's because those suckers have got glue on the end. <laughs> I don't know. You can tell I'm a trained biologist, can't you? <laughs> okay, now, we're nearly done, actually, with the outline of our chameleon. We're just going to add some sort of spines around their back. So this is how we're going to do it. Just going to add lots of sort of semi circular curly shapes. Going all the way round the back and across the top of the head of our little chameleon. And we'll stop about there. And they've also got them on their chins. So here we go, do exactly the same shapes. The other way up, just going around the chin, like that. More. I feel like the spines on Gregosaurus actually. In fact, these guys, I think they're quite closely related to dinosaurs. They, whenever I see reptiles uh, like this, especially the bigger ones, like, kimo uh, like those, what are they called? I wanted to say kimono dragons, but I think the kimono is a type of dressing gown. It's komodo dragon, is that what it is? I'm gonna put it up there. I'm gonna look it up after this and put it up there. I think it's komodo dragon. But those guys, if you've seen them, the way they walk around, they look just like I would imagine dinosaurs look like, and I think chameleons, they look a bit dinosaurish too. Certainly the way I draw them looks a bit like my Dinosaur Juniors characters. Okay, so that's pretty much the outline 
um, of our chameleon finished there. So what we need to do now, our chameleon, I want to do the chameleon holding on to something. I'm gonna use the chin pen again, actually. I think he or she should be on a branch. So what we're going to do, we're just gonna draw a horizontal line just above the feet and just below the chin, like that. Let's just add a little bit of detail there. You go right to the edge of your page. Imagine that carries on through there. There we go. Add another little bit of detail up there. And go off to the edge. Then what I want you to do is just underneath, just in that gap in between there, we'll add another bit of line. And this can be the branch that our chameleon is sitting on, standing on. On over this side. I've just added a couple of little details, but then if you like, you can add a few little sort of leaf shapes. Like that. Nice simple leaf, a few little spines. Maybe if you want to add another one coming off to the side, one down here maybe. And it just gives the impression that our chameleon is. Gives it a little bit of context, which I think is quite nice sometimes in a picture. There we go, one more leaf there. There we go. What a nice picture. So there's our chameleon. Grumpy looking chameleon there. Now, for the fun bit. Remember, chameleons change the colour of their skin and the pattern of their skin depending on the background that they're in. So, the rules are in particular with this drawing, more so than ever, the rules are there are no rules. You can make your chameleon any colour, any pattern, anything you like. Just go for it. That's what I say. So I'm going to do mine. I'm going to go into super speed mode and I'm going to do something. I don't know what yet. I'm just going to decide when I get to it. Um, and I'm going to see you back here in 30 seconds or a minute or so and I'll have finished my chameleon. In the meantime, grab your pencils and have a bit of fun. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. So, there we go. There is my finished chameleon. Because they can camouflage themselves against the, whatever background they're against, I thought I might be quite, it might be quite fun to add a sort of army camouflage pattern to my chameleon. Maybe, maybe he or she is a soldier chameleon. Who knows, but I just thought it'd be quite funny to add a camouflage pattern to my chameleon. So, listen, I can't wait to see what you've done. I've got a good feeling about this one. I think it's gonna be a very, very varied and colorful grid at the end of the day. Um, I hope to see lots of rainbow chameleons. I'm pretty sure I'll get some of those. Um, and oh, who knows, who knows? I'm really excited about seeing all your drawings. So, in order for me to see your drawings, don't forget you need to take a picture of them and then you need to post them on social media uh, using the hashtag DrawWithRob. That way I'll get to see them. If you're watching on Facebook, you can just add your drawing to the comments below. Um, yes, and there we go. I hope you've enjoyed this one. I've really had a good time doing it. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to press that subscribe button down there somewhere. That would be great. Let's sign our drawing, shall we? I'm gonna sign mine over here. Rob, I'm gonna write my full name, why not? Let's do my full signature. There we go. Rob Biddulph. And I hope you've signed your pictures too. So yes, take a picture. Post them with the hashtag DrawWithRob. I'm going to see you again very soon for another Draw With Rob video. And in the meantime, take care of yourselves. Keep on drawing. And I'll see you soon. Bye, everyone.
didn't expect to see me that soon, did you? <laughs> I hope you really enjoyed that video that you've just watched. I can't wait to see the drawings that you've done. Don't forget to share them using the Draw With Rob hashtag. I just wanted to pop up here and remind you that the Draw With Rob activity book is out now if you would like to grab yourself a copy. You can get it from wherever you get books from and it's full of really cool things for you to do, colouring pages, lots of the draw-alongs of your favourite characters that we've done on these videos here. And there's a little frame for you to draw your pictures in, perforated edge so you can tear the picture out easily and stick it up on the wall. But there's loads of really cool things for you to do. As I said, colouring pages, um, little thing. I started drawings off and you've got to finish them, that kind of thing. And then right at the end, if you go through the book and you really enjoy yourself, look, there's even your very own certificate to stick up on your wall to say that you are officially an ace artist. So there you go. That book is available now. I'll stick a link somewhere in the post or on the YouTube page for you if you are interested in buying it. In the meantime, this time I really am going. I'll see you very soon for another Draw With Rob video. Take care.